Today we're looking at descriptive statistics for independent two-group data. Specifically, we're looking at graphical displays. So one thing that you'll notice when you're looking at graphical displays for two independent group data is that each group will have its own graph or plot. So here you see a side-by-side -side box plot where each of the two groups has its own box plot. And then you see histograms where each of the groups have their own histograms and they're stacked on top of each other. You'll notice also because they're comparing that the number lines will be the same. It helps you to be able to compare apples to apples, for example. Now when you're comparing box plots, one thing to consider is how much overlap there is. If the box plots do not overlap, a difference in the typical responses is indicated. The more overlap that the groups have for their box plots, the less different they are. Also, when comparing box plots, the more different in size the two box plots are, so the actual box of the box plot, the more variability that's indicated between the two groups. So if the box plots are very different in size, it indicates that the variability for the two groups are very different. Similar things should be considered when you're thinking about comparing histograms. A lot of over overlap for the histograms indicates that the two groups are fairly similar, and also if they have the same shape and spread. So for the histograms that you're looking at here, we can see that they look fairly similar to one another, and so the two groups I would expect to have fairly similar um, typical responses and fairly similar variability. And the same is true for the box plot. In terms of variability, they're pretty similar and the box plots overlap a fair amount and so I would think that the typical responses are also fairly similar.